Hey everybody, and welcome to the new thing, to a new thing on the channel. It will be Ghosts of Miami, which I am starting right now. And we can watch the opening intro together. So that's our main character, Shello, here. And you know Richard's got to be the bad guy. He's in a suit and tie. He's the bad guy. Definitely the bad guy. The only person who swirls wine like that is the bad guy. Okay, yeah, so as I said, Ghost of Miami. Uh, it is a adventure game slash detective game slash a little bit of a visual novel set in the 1980s. Clearly it's set in Miami. Uh, like I said, we are shallow and we have to play detective and, and solve some crimes. Clearly uh, not just set in the 80s, but definitely has a 1980s color palette, as well as being kind of anime inspired. So let's go ahead and get started. I haven't done anything in the game other than, than play with some of the volume, but let's, let's get started. I mean, I did start for like half a second, but I didn't want, let's, uh, let's restart. I played for like three seconds before I found a problem with the recording. So let's go. It's a sunny morning in downtown Miami. Excuse me, I have my own office, my own apartment, and a full day ahead of me. Is the music already still too loud? Let's, let's just ramp that real far down, please. Okay. People go missing every day in Miami. Some want to be lost. Some weren't on anyone's radar to begin with. And some, some just have no one to care about them. My name is Consuelo Martinez, but everyone calls me a cello. Is it, I mean, it's not cello like the instrument, right? Uh, cello? I find the people who slip through the cracks. Too bad I haven't gotten a single case yet. It's been a couple months already and I had to cut my food budget to make rent. I'm I'm pretty hungry. Maybe if I go downstairs, Mrs. Woon will give me a pity sandwich. The Woons are good landlords, but strict. They own my little apartment building and run a bodega on the first floor. I wonder if they'll evict, evict me if I don't show up with a rent check next month. I hope not. For now, I'm starving. Maybe a sandwich, or one of those really, really old hot dogs? The tiny market is a community staple, the corner store that has it all. Last August, Lewis Miller busted in high as hell and probably drunk too, waving a gun and screaming bloody murder. Mrs. Woon talked the gun out of his hands, and her husband quietly packed Lewis's favorite snacks into a to-go bag. Good people. As usual, Mrs. Woon minds the cash register like a mother hawk. The local kids call her La Serpienta, the snake, because if you steal from her, she'll take your hand. Hola, Mrs. Woon. Hola, como esta? I'm doing okay. I've been better. Business has been slow. How about you? It's fine. I'm too embarrassed to ask her for food. Let's see, I have a dollar and thirty cents. Yikes. 
Well, it's good for a snack at least. What should I get? Chips, ice cream, ask for a sandwich. You know what? I'm not gonna... I'm, I'm not gonna beg my landlord for some food even though she's good people. We'll just go for chips. Ice cream will, will probably raise our blood sugar too much. Chips probably will as well, but let's go for chips. I guess I'll just have one of these. Uh, are you broke? Am I what now? No, I have a dollar. <laughs> let's go, let's go, I have a dollar. You never have to lie to me, Consuelo. Just take a sandwich off the shelf. I'm worried about other things today. Thank you so much. <laughs> What's troubling you, Mrs. Woon? Grace is missing. Oh, is that la lady right there on the missing poster? Grace as in your daughter, Grace? Since when? Grace said she was studying calculus with Marcy. My daughter works very hard. I wasn't surprised when she called to say she was sleeping over with her friend Marcy. They've been doing sleepovers since grade school. Hmm. Grace just turned 17 a few months ago. I think I remember Marcy from the birthday party. Chinese girl, a little older. I remember her being serious. Maybe a little humorless, but with real affection for Grace. But I just got a phone call from Marcy's mother. Grace hasn't been there for weeks. I've never seen her look so scared. There aren't many Koreans in Little Havana. I once asked Mrs. Woon why she started a business on Calle Siete. She said, we wanted to start a family in a place that's sunny and hot. I was Grace's babysitter when she was younger. The Woons wanted her to learn a little Spanish. Hold on, can we talk about this? Um, Grace is what? Did you say Grace is 17? And you were Grace's babysitter when she was younger? You look like you're a 15 yourself. Hello. Um, how old are you supposed to be? Because you look extremely young. It's scary that she's missing now. I can't imagine what the wounds must be going through. Have you called the cops? Yes, the desk sergeant said, This month we are focusing on drug dealers. No time for runaway teens. Well, that's crappy. Good Korean girls do not run away, Miss Martinez. Well, I know a detective on the force. How about I ask him about your case? Business has been slow. You find missing people. That's what you do. Uh, that's what we try to do. Yes, that's right. I'm surprised she didn't remember until, like, just now. I'm always asking her about new missing persons notices. What would it cost for you to find my daughter? Mrs. Woon's tone is flat, and her expression is, well, her usual deadpan. You might think she doesn't care about Grace at all. How about you just, like, um... You forgive my rent for a little bit? But Grace is the wound's only kid. I'm sure they'd do anything for her. What's a reasonable price for finding someone's only daughter? Uh, let me think. Three months rent? $500? Free year? Free food for a year? Um, I'm thinking three months rent. I'll be able to focus more on cases if I get a break on rent. Could I get some leniency for the next three months? Two. What? Is she for real? Negotiating over her missing daughter? Two months rent, free of charge. If your business isn't off the ground by then, it won't be a business at all. You're right, I guess. Can I put an advertisement up by your checkout counter at least? Fine. Just find my daughter. Fun, Grace. I'll try my best. Can you imagine a person doing that being like, yeah, my daughter's, she's not worth three months rent. Hmm. I see Grace around all the time. We live in the same building after all, but I know almost nothing about her. What can you tell me about your daughter? Ah, Grace is 17, about 5'2". She looks like her father. Ah, I'm looking more for context about her. What kind of person is she? Where would she go after school? Uh, Grace is a good girl. She's a straight A student. She used to play piano, but I wanted her to focus more on her studies. She was lovely at the piano. Now she comes directly home, unless she's studying with Marcy. But, I mean, this whole Marcy thing is made up. She hasn't seen Marcy in forever. Tell me about Marcy. Marcy Ling. They both attend Fairview High School and have been friends since elementary school. That's a good lead. Where do they usually study? Uh, you don't know. 
investigate on your own, press the issue. You know what? Um, you don't have to tell me. It's clear you don't really know, so I'll, I'll figure it out. That's okay, Mrs. Moon. Let me worry about looking for Grace. I'm sure I can get some good leads talking to Marcy. Is there anything else I should look into? Anything at all? There may be one thing. Is it a boyfriend? Is it a boyfriend that you did not approve of? I was reviewing our telephone bill some time ago and noticed several strange calls when Mr. Woon and I would have been min min minding the store. Excuse me. That's ah, a boyfriend. When I confronted Grace about it, she said, Trevor is my boyfriend. You can't stop me from talking to him. All right, I have to, th have to talk with this Trevor. A boyfriend? Can you believe it? My daughter knows she's not allowed to date. We revoked her phone privileges and forbid her from seeing this boy Trevor. Trevor, huh? What's he like? You don't know because you've never seen him. Uh, have you met him yet? Have you met him ever? No, I have not. Well, what can you tell me about him? He is older. Ray said he works at some club on the, on the bay. The beachside? The bays, maybe? Who knows? He should not have been dating my daughter. That's what I know. Hmm, I wonder if she's talking about the bank side. My best friend Lucy works there. Her dad owns the place. Alright, clue found. The bank side. Open notebook for more details. Grace was dating an older man named Trevor. He attends bar at the bank side. My best friend's nightclub. Nothing in context yet. Well, I'll look into it. Thanks for your help, Mrs. Woon. I'm going to organize my notes upstairs and... Wait. Yes? The lines in Mrs. Woon's face are deep. She looks tired. Tired as hell. She must be scared. N never mind, it's nothing. Please find my daughter. She's my proudest achievement. Person of interest? Mrs. Woon. She's a person of interest in her own daughter's missing case? My landlord runs the little convenience store on the ground floor. She's stern, but much loved and well connected. I mean, she wouldn't have me go looking for a daughter if uh, she had anything to do with it. I'm on it, Mrs. Woon. Page me if you think of anything else. Ah, uh, yes, of course, pagers, because we're in the 80s. Well, that was a weird conversation. At least I have a job now, and a sandwich. I don't quite know how to deal with Mrs. Woon. If I'm going to find missing people as a full-time gig, i got to learn how to talk to people better. For now, the case of the landlord's missing daughter. Where should I start? Oh, a phone message. Hey, kid. Es tu hermano. Uh, hello, brother. Ugh, my brother. What could Mickey want? Money, probably. Well, too bad for him. It's been a while, Chica. We should catch up. We've got a great new job by the docks. By the docks? Mickey's not the type to do loading or anything legitimate. That probably means some new dumb criminal enterprise. I told my new boss about your business, though. He says he wants to meet you. That's new. Can you come by sometime today? He's really connected. He could help get your private eye thing off the ground. Anyway, let me know. I'll be at that big green warehouse on Ocean and 7th until 9 or so. Hope to see you there. See, I need to know, is it shallow? Is it cello? I'm gonna keep going shallow? But I don't know, whoa. I miss you. Well, that's different from most of Mickey's messages. I guess I should see my brother at some point. Yeesh, how long has it been since I've called mom? One more thing on the list, I guess. All right, I've got a notepad, a pen, and a couple good leads. Let's get some notes down about Grace before I forget. The notepad is where Shello records all her thoughts on certain characters and where she saves clues about the cases she's working on. Yep, I gotcha. Of course, if you want all the details of a particular conversation, you can scroll through the full log. Okay. The clues in your log can lead you to different areas, so don't forget to check them periodically. There we go, nice and organized. I think I can get to all these places today. I better watch out though, I may not always have the free time to follow every lead. So, where to first? Fairview High, look for Marcy. Bankside Club, find the boyfriend. The docks visit Mickey. Um, you know it's early morning. The club is is not gonna be it's not gonna be uh, going too hot and heavy. <laughs> Let's go for the high school first. I mean, 
no one's going to be at the club in the early morning. Fairview High School. I haven't been back here since graduation. I've got a lot of good memories. It's, it is morning now. Not early morning? Ugh. Maybe just nostalgia. Look at how young and optimistic these kids are. I hate them. Yeah, you couldn't pay me a million bucks to go back to school. Oh, there she is. Marcy Ling? Marcy! What's up, Doc? Who are you? Oh, wait. Your face is familiar. You're the detective who lives in the Wounds Building. Good memory. Um, Shello Martinez? I don't want to make you late for a class, but do you have a moment to talk? It's about Grace. What about her? I haven't seen Grace in forever. She was spending all her free time with her stupid boyfriend, the one who works at the bank side. She was always like, Ooh, my parents are shitty. Trevor's the only one who really gets me. Ugh. I heard she was a... Or, I heard he was a total burnout who didn't even finish high school. We're gonna run away together. So bogus. She changed a lot over the summer. I guess I miss the old Grace. I'm sorry. I'm afraid Grace has been missing for the past two days. Mr. and Mrs. Woon have asked me to look for her since the police have been... occupied, I guess. Do you know where she might have gone? No. We don't hang out anymore, like I said. Look, you don't have to talk to me if you don't want to. I'm just trying to find Grace Woon. Why would I tell you anything? You're not a cop. Marcy talks a big game, but her shoulders are shaking, and she has a white knuckle grip on her textbooks. She just needs some persuading. Look, I'm deep undercover. Yeah, I'm not a- I mean, I'm not gonna pretend to be a cop. Grace will get hurt. There you go. Let's, uh, let's try to scare her. Look, if you don't tell me everything you know, Grace could be at the bottom of the ocean soon, so... Marcy, I need your help. Grace could be in trouble, and the cops don't return calls from people who live in our neighborhood. I'm worried about her, aren't you? Things have just been different lately. Different how? Grace is just bitchy now, like, not even in a cool way. She doesn't do work, she screws over her friends. Last time she was over, she stole 20 bucks from my dad. He wouldn't, he would have given her the money. She could have just asked. Yeah, I'm worried about her, Miss Martinez, but I try really hard to be a good kid and now Grace is one of the bad ones and, and that, that scares me. Does that sound like totally stupid? Wow, you couldn't pay me to relive high school. Even the smallest thing seems so big and so confusing. No, I, I get it. I went here, you know, to Fairview. Class of 81. You can check the yearbooks. I was in a band while I was here with some of my best friends. Okay, so that must make you... If this is like 85, 86, I don't know. It's somewhere in the mid to late 80s. So you'd be, uh, let's say, five years out of high school. So you're 23? I mean, you don't look it. You don't make friends like that after you graduate. Any help you can give me? You won't regret it. If anything happens to Grace, you won't be able to forgive yourself. Marcy looks scared. Maybe I came out a little strong. This is tougher than I thought it would be. You're right. I haven't seen her in a while at school, but she's been running with a different crew lately. One of the gangs? No, not quite. She's too squeaky clean, and plus, she's a little afraid of a real gang. Some other group. Like stoners, maybe? Not the kind of people I hang out with. Who could put me in contact with them? There's one senior who knows everyone at school. Everyone knows her and everyone likes her. She's cool. Hmm. She's usually over with the... Oh, there. Tala. Tala, you got a sec? Hello, Tala. A lanky young woman breaks away from a pack of laughing upperclassmen. Her features are striking, but not in a harsh way. Even at first glance, she seems open and friendly. Hey, Marcy. How's it going? Who's your friend? Uh, this is Shello? She's looking for Grace? You, you know, Grace Woon? Could you help her out a bit? Of course, I remember Grace. Jeez. Is she alright? I'm Tala Nasiri, senior class secretary. What can I do to help? I've got to run to class. Sorry I couldn't help you more, Mrs. Martinez. Oh, Shella's just fine. Thanks. When you find her, tell Grace... I mean, I don't know. It's really messed up that she's missing, and... I'll tell her you're worried about her. Thanks, Marcy. Person of interest, Marcy Ling. Marcy Ling is Grace's best friend, or was until recently, when Grace started lying, using drugs, and stealing. So, I'm happy to help you out in any way I can, but can I ask you a question first? Why do you look... Why, why are you blushing, Tala? 
Are you the Shello Martinez who was in the tank tops? I think I saw you play when I was a freshman. Oh, was I in a band? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that was me and the girls. Can't believe anyone remembers us, to be honest. We really only played at school events. Plus that one time at Lucy's Club. Can't believe she talked her dad into letting us jam there. No way! I wish I could have been there. It was for 30 minutes on a Tuesday. I don't think we had any, had any audience at all. I guess if you'd been there, we'd have had one fan at least. So, you're the one... You're the connected one at Fairview High? Guilty as charged. I spent my whole high school career getting to know everyone here, including the teachers. I've even got keys to the admin office. Just tell me what you need, and I'll hook you up. We just met. Do you usually offer your breaking and entering services to total strangers? You're not a stranger. I listened to your EP like a million times. When I was 14, it was like the tank tops and Madonna non-stop. I, I, I guess I had a bit of a crush on you, you know, back then when you were cool. Not that you're not cool now. You're, you're totally cool, probably. I, I'm gonna be sick. She's so flustered. I have to stop myself from laughing. Does she really think I'm cool? Yeah, right. Uh, she's so high school. Looking around for her friends, making sure they don't see her being unchill. I believe you. But all I need is some names. Who was Grace Woon hanging out with? What was she up to? She's been missing for two days and... Uh, you probably shouldn't have led with that she's been missing for two days thing. Whoa! Like, missing? Not skipping class? Grace was the kind of straight-laced freshman that no one ever gossiped about, but... And she got caught forging some late slips. She's smart, but she kept getting caught doing stuff. Smoking in the bathrooms, getting high behind the trailers, that sort of thing. Weird, huh? Whenever I talked to her, it was like she was too good for this place. But now she only shows up so the school won't call her parents anymore. Believe it or not, I know the feeling. The day Mama found out I was in a band, she was so sure that glam rock and alcohol were corrupting my soul. She poured all out all the alcohol in our house. I never even had a drink. So who was Grace hanging out with? A weird crew. They used to smoke weed behind the gym? But Andy Carroll got caught by the assistant principal and his dad had him transferred to military school. I guess they mostly hang out by the... Excuse me, by the Broadwalk. Broadwalk? Would that be Boardwalk? By North Beach. Small time dealers. They want to stay away from the actual criminals. Yeah, it says Broadwalk, but, I mean, I guess that's a thing. I'm, I'm more used to Boardwalks than Broadwalks. I had to imagine Grace caught up. Hard to imagine Grace caught up in all that, but she wanted so bad to hang. That's some great info, Tala. Can you give me a name? Someone I can ask for when I'm down there? Like I said, I try to stay on top of the gossip here, so I might have shaken down Andy Carroll for the name of their little ringleader, but it'll cost you. Name your price. Look, who are these people? Who are these people that are, like, negotiating over the life of a high school student? You get to take me out sometime and tell me all about what it was like at Fairview and what happened to the tank tops. That's a small price to pay, right? You'll do it. Uh, and Mama always said that the girl band thing would lead to nothing. Look, I'm really flattered. It just feels a little weird, you know, to be back at Fairview, talking to a high school kid. Like, I don't want to be, like, the... the curvy girl that, you know, I'm an adult now and I'm hanging out with high school students. You get it, right? Sure, old timer. Whatever you say. The man you're looking for leads a pack of students who deal to the foreign tourists who come off the cruise ships. I've never met him, but he sounds like a real creep. His name's Jed something. Starts with a P, maybe? There's Jed the dealer. Uh, sounds like a real creep. If you have any more questions about these high school kids, uh, you can always call me. She gives me a scrap of paper with two numbers written on it. This one's my pager number, in case I'm in class or at an addition, audition. Excuse me. This one's for my home number. Grandma Nasiri, Nasiri usually answers. Thanks for your help, Tala. Have a good one. Don't worry, sister. I'll be seeing you around. Okay, you're coming off a little strong, Tala. An excitable 19-year-old, Tala is a huge fan of you and your work and your high school, old high school band. They had to make her 19, so it wasn't like super pedo. That's that's how it works. 
Like she's an adult now, so it's not Pato. That wasn't the lead I expected, but that girl was sweet and sharp. Uh, it wouldn't be awful to see more of Miss Tal in a series, but I really hope my job doesn't bring me to Fairview High again. Better get back to it. All right, let's go. Um, I mean, no, again, no one's gonna be in the club in the morning, so let's go for the broad walk. Afternoon. The broad walk along North Beach is usually good and everything bad about Miami and in one place. On the other hand, you've got this long stretch of perfect sand and all the shops and cafes full of happy people enjoying the perfect day. On the other hand, a lot of those people are tourists. Loud, noxious tourists. And with tourists come the people trying to take advantage of them. This is Miami, though. So, I'm looking for a low-life drug dealer who's not above selling to kids. I don't know what he looks like, and I don't want to alert the authorities. Hmm. A whole row of people selling bootleg cassettes. Maybe they know something. Hey! Looking for a man named Jed? A friend told me he does business with the tourists? Girl, there's tourists everywhere here, and everyone does business, but maybe I can hook you up with what you need. No offense, but I've got more than enough of that. Jed, he works with a bunch of high school kids? Come on, do me a little favor. If you know him, you know he's bad news. Your business could get a bump. You're not a cop, are you? Just looking into some business to conduct some business without ruffling any feathers, please. Okay, but this doesn't come back to me. Truth? Jed's a real shit. I wouldn't mind seeing him out of here, but a raid on one guy means a raid on all of us, heard? He's the guy in the hat at the end of the row there. Look for knockoff shades and the grin like he just screwed your sister. Is that Jed? I promise, I won't make any waves. You've been a great help. Okay, so that's the guy we were talking to. This must be Jet. I mean, you had knockoff shades and a weird grin. Wow, look at that guy. The description was spot on. He's got a face I want to punch. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't do this. I don't want to get too involved with actual scumbags. Is this really you, Shello? Deep breath, girl. You're doing this because no one else will. Hi, are you Jed? I was told to come looking for you. What do you need, baby? I got all kinds of stuff for a pretty girl like you. Maybe we could watch some of these tapes together. It's the real dirty kind, get me? You look like the type. My punching hand is itching. What do I say? I'm new around here. My friend said you could hook me up. I'm looking for someone and I hear you might know her. Um... You know what? Let's not go into this I'm looking for someone. Because if he knows that she's missing, that kind of tips her off, him off. Look. Um, I'm just, I'm just new around here. Well, my daddy told me not to talk to strangers, but I got a weakness for pretty mamacitas. Ugh, I hate this. Aw, oh, that's so sweet of you. Truth is, I don't do this <laughs> ever at all. I don't quite know what to ask for. Help a girl out, please. Well, mommy, for tourists, I usually ask two questions. How do you want to feel? And how much are you willing to pay for it? Uh, let's see, well... My parents gave me plenty of cash, but as far as I, as how I want to feel, my friend usually buys the stuff, and I just do what she ha has. I've never uh, bought any drugs on my own. Hey, keep the volume down, Chica. Your friend got a name? Moment of truth. I look into his eyes while I say her name while I see something there. Guilt? Rage? It's Grace. You know her? Yeah, I know Grace. On the fast track to being a junkie, or as I like to call it, a good client. I haven't seen her around lately, though. Let's see. If memory serves, Grace has a thing for uppers. With the designer stuff. The stuff that the Ivy League, League kids do is out of her price range. You don't look like you're into the Blanca, mommy. Uh, Blanca, is that like, uh, cocaine? So I wonder what illegal substance did you want, or did you do with our mutual friend Grace, senorita? Well, shit. Think fast. Hey, I get it. You don't have what I'm looking for. Grace said you might be a bit of a prick. You know where she might have ended up after you couldn't satisfy her? Hmm. <laughs> oh. To church. She hadn't confessed in a long time. You should consider stopping by, Mommy. You've got a real nasty mouth. Now, please. I have customers waiting. Well. 
One thing's for sure, this guy Jed knows Grace. Odds are good that he had something to do with her disappearance. But I've hit a brick wall here, I better move on. Alright, is there a, like a save option in this game or how does that work? Is it always saving? Let me, let me find out. Let me, let me pause real quick and then I'll find out about the save. Alright, so there's nothing in the internet about how to save the game, so I'm just assume it automatically saves. Um, you know what, let's, let's swing over to the docks. Let's visit Mickey. Visit our brother over here, see what he's got to say. A weird ghostly haze around the Dodge Island docks. Even in the bright Florida sun, you can see downtown across the water, but even the skyscrapers are eclipsed by the huge container chip, sh chips, ships coming in and out of Miami. Mickey didn't give me a specific location, so I guess I'm waiting here alone. I don't know what I was expecting. You can't pick your family, I guess. Wait, is that... Mickey? Amanita! Como esta? I'm so glad you came. Uh, I'm good, Mickey. Thanks for the invitation. Uh, though, to be honest, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. What kind of mess are you into this time? You wound me. I know you and Mama are always on my ass about getting a real job and staying out of trouble. This one's a real thing. I mean it this time, little sister. In six months, your boy Mickey will be taking care of you. Guess I can't throw any stones. I didn't have a real job. I don't have a real job anymore either, and thank God for that. I hated working at that gas station. So what's this new gig? It's cool, I promise. See those big ships? The ones on the south side of the port? The ones making deliveries to Richard are marked with an orange insignia. Okay, there's that Richard guy. We know he's the baddie. We unload his shipping containers and sort them out in that warehouse. The tall one over there. This way, I'll show you. Here's where we unpack and sort the goods. We get a lot of product, so the sorters work in shifts around the clock. See? It's all totally on the up and up. Totally. Yeah, he looks real, real convinced of that. Right, so what are you doing? You're a little too old to be a stock boy. According to Richard, I'm a security consultant. Sounds pretty official, right? Mickey, it sounds bogus. What's in the shipping containers? And who's this Richard guy anyway? Come on, sis. It's not like that. Not anymore. Oh, really? I saw at least five guards coming in here and another three inside. They're not just watching the product, they're watching the sorters too. The containers are marked, the shipments are specialized, and the sorters can't be trusted with the product. You're in a smuggling ring, Mickey! I can't believe you! Shallow, keep your voice down! It's alright, Mickey. Your sister is as astute as you promised. It's a pleasure to meet you. So, this is Mickey's new boss. He's pretty stealthy for such a tall guy. He seemed to appear out of nowhere. Tall and, uh, really handsome. His features are square and his eyes clear and sharp. He's got a little gray in his hair, but it looks great. I'm sorry, but there's something about his face that's just wrong. I don't, I don't think this guy looks handsome. I think his head looks too small for his body or something. I don't know, the proportions. I apologize, sir. My brother has a bit of a reputation and I've got a suspicious personality. Uh, tell me, Miss Martinez, are you a woman who can distinguish between suspicion and paranoia? I'd like to think I have a healthy skepticism, emphasis on healthy. I'm talking more formally. I'm nervous, even though he's not even all that imposing. He leans away from us, his weight on his heels, his big hands that rest on his sides. That's right, Mickey said you were some kind of private investigator. I suggested that he bring you here. I might be of assistance to you. Mickey, do you mind? Please, Miss Martinez, if you'll join me in my office. Sure thing. Call me if you need anything, sir. Why would you help me? We just met. I, I don't even know what to call you, Mr. Richard is fine, so long as I may call you Consuelo. As far as I, why I would help you, in my line of work, I found that enterprising allies makes for good business. Your brother has proven himself an admirable employee with a sharp eye for my kind of business. Here we are. Shello. Everyone I know calls me Shello, and uh, thank you for the offer. I hope I live up to my own reputation, but how do you intend to help me with my work? 
And if I've kept track of all the innuendo, you don't really exactly operate within the law. Jeez, his office is nice. You'd never know it was at the back of a dingy warehouse by the docks. It's not mahogany panels or anything, but it's clean, organized, very chic, only a little intimidating. Dello, a, a beautiful nickname. Thank you for sharing it with me. I will treat it as a privilege. As far as the law goes, you're not a police officer. You're not even a licensed PI. When it comes to the law, we're both on the outside looking in. Perhaps you've drawn a solid line between what's legal and what's not. It's a strange philosophy to me, but I'm not in the habit of denying people their own beliefs. However, I have connections on the darker side of that line, information that might be of use to you. If, that is, you're interested, Miss Cello. I'm very sorry, Richard. It's been kind of an overwhelming day, and I'm still not done with it. What exactly are you asking me for? I mean, if I can be frank, my brother is kind of a... Wait, this is Mickey's first real job for a while. I don't want to sabotage him with his boss. He, he's kind of a character. Why, why would you trust his word this quickly? Your brother is ambitious, as are you. Your brother doesn't do jobs for me. He does work. It's a quality I look for in, a, in potential associates. Tell me, Shella, will you deign to associate with me? I feel a sharp little pain as my teeth dig into my lower lip. I'm flus too. God, is, is he laughing at me on the inside? Get it together, Shello. Uh, I get the feeling, sir, that you want to be involved in more than my per per professional interests. I like it when you call me sir, Shello, but please, just Richard. For now. You have good instincts, just like your brother said. Look, if my brother told you anything, is that I'm forward, and I don't worry too much about politeness. I don't know what you want with me, but right now, I'm thinking... Whatever it is, it can't be good. I'm never going to work with you if you can't be straight with me, so tell me what you want. Fair enough. I appreciate someone who demands respect, even if some might say they have yet to earn it. Perhaps I was taken in by Mickey's fascinating stories about his hermanita. I was uh, simply curious about you and your career, but as it turns out, Miss Martinez, you are very lovely in person. Tell it, please. Why aren't you saying anything like, uh, forgive me for being forward, or maybe this was too fast? Jello, you, you seem to take pride in being forward yourself. Why should either of us have to apologize for that? It says my name with a low growl at the back of his throat. The blush on my face will probably, probably be permanent now. It's fair, I suppose. It's just, uh, surprising is all. Not many guys, or people in general, approach me this way. Not at all, really. Jello. There he goes again, saying my name that way. I can almost feel it hovering between us, raising the hairs on my neck. He feels so close, even though he's not. His eyes are deep and focused on my face, and I half expect him to reach out and pass his hand straight through me. I'm a ghost. What a, what a weird statement. It's too warm in here. His gaze is too warm. You may be used to boys, but I'm a man. I intend to behave like one. Unlike a boy, I will not chase you. I will not show up when you don't expect me. I value value your independence. I will not infringe upon it. I am patient. I will wait until that independence brings you to me, of your own free will, when you're ready. You may never be ready, but when you are, call me. If, by then, you only want my information and my connections to the underbelly of the city, I will give them freely. I, uh... Thank you? You're right, it's unfair of me to be so blunt than panic when others are forward with me. I'm also flattered by your invitation. I'll definitely think about it, but right now... Honestly, right now I don't know what to do with it at all. Richard is handsome and interested in me, but as he moves around the perimeter of his office, I can't help but feel not just intimidated, but scared. Like I'm in a beautifully appointed office with a tiger. The best I can do is keep my cool, and I'm barely ahead of my own embarrassment. Uh, right now, I think I should focus on getting my business off the ground. You can understand that, right? Very well. In that case, is there any way I can help you on your current investigation? I'm looking for a girl named Grace Woon, high school kid. She's never been in much trouble, but now it seems like she's looking for it. I mean, why would you just... Like, I don't think that I would just freely give this information. Like, clearly this guy's a weirdo. And, uh, I don't like it. 
So I don't think I would want to be working with him if I had my choice. Uh, she attended Fairview High, but she hasn't been around lately. Frankly, my organization is larger in scale than your typical street gang or high school dealers. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be very helpful in this case. However, yes, there was something about Fairview High School a few years ago. A group of students, uh, truancy cases, were known to mug hapless tourists. If I remember correctly, they preferred one particular overpass. It's close enough to downtown Miami that the tourists don't get suspicious. For once in a while, some of the gangs roll through those places. They like putting the scare on preppy kids, you know the ones. They think they're bad until they meet the real thing. Alright, we know about, uh... Where is it? There we go. Some preppy kids from Fairview know to mug tourists beneath a certain highway in Overtown. I hope this conversation will be helpful to you. Uh, I hate to waste your time. That's not much to go on. You didn't give me much to work with. Guess I'll have to come with more next time. You'll be rewarded for your diligence. You seem like the kind of man who keeps his promises. Return here, and I'll find out exact and you'll find out exactly what kind of man I am. There it is again, that cold shiver running like an electric current down my spinal column. Into his eyes, it's like staring up into space. It's darkness with infinite depth and frigid fascinating. Part of me says, Shella, run. Run fast and hard because this man is dangerous and hungry. But there's another, different part of me, and I don't know which one's stronger. If you have anything I need, Richard, sir, uh, I'll come back for it. I have a standing appointment in five minutes. Forgive the rudeness, but I'm afraid your brother will have to see you out. Have a nice day, Shello, and good luck with your investigation. Yeah, this Richard guy, he's, he's, he's bad news. I'm sorry. Mickey's new boss gives off real man of mystery vibes. He's striking, for sure, but I don't quite trust him. Me too, Richard. So, Richard's a real cool customer, right? A real dyed-in-the-wool businessman. He thinks I have potential. He thinks the same thing about me. It makes me a little nervous. This is a good thing, Shallow. This is the start of a series of good things that will help me take care of you and take care of Mama. I'm sorry, I just... I, I'm, I really should be saying that I should be like, Mama, but you know what, whatever. Sorry, I just really wanted to see your big brother come into his own. Um, what did you and Richard talk about? It's a long walk back to the main road. I tell Mickey about Grace, about how behind I am on rent. I leave out the details about his boss, but mention that Richard offered to help me. Thanks for thinking of me, Mickey. I'm sure I'll be a lot of help. There's a lot of stuff going on, brother. Let's have dinner with Ma before she hunts us down and forces food down our throats. You're right, huh? Okay. Uh, let's... I'll call her and set a date. You free this Friday? See. Si. I'll make myself free. Thanks, Mickey. Good luck with your stuff. Uh, igual tu? Igual tu, hermanita? I don't know this word. I'm sure that's like you too, but... Uh, be hearing from you. Alright, there's my brother, Mickey Martinez. My brother is an independent, undependable jerk, at least he used to be, as he turned a new leaf. He's a train wreck, but a brother's hugs are always the best hugs. It's nice to see him smiling again. Better work hard, so I'm still the good kid. It's getting late. Better head home and take some notes. Well, I thought I might go to the club. What a long day. I'd give anything just to tumble into bed, but these notes won't organize themselves. Today was frustrating. Am I coming at this all wrong? Tomorrow, I'll take a look at the other side. Police reports, hospitals. There'll be a lot of running around again, but... I feel like I'm all so close to finding Grace. She's out there somewhere. I visualize her face from the last time I saw her in the tiny market. I can bring her home. I can do this. You can do this, Shello. Oh, a message. Hope it's someone good and not the electric company trying to collect again. Buenas noches, hermanita. Just want you to know, Mama wants to have dinner with us two nights from now. Please be there. She's making arroz con pollo. Arroz con pollo with abuela's recipe. So it's like rice with chicken uh, with your grandmother's recipe. And you know, if you're not there, she's going to mess up our Nana's legacy. Uh, don't work too hard. 
If you look like an old maid, we'll both have to suffer when Mama asks you about your love life, and I don't want to hear it. Thanks for dropping by today. Your faith in me is the most important thing I've got, and I'll repay it, I promise. Well, that was sweet. Kind of, I guess. Uh, it'll be good to see Mama, too. But enough of that. Tonight, I'll organize these notes and make a game plan for tomorrow. Well, we're in the next day. Nothing quite like waking up to a bright, sunny Miami morning. It was a late night, but at least I got all the notes together. Sure, I hit a dead end trying to follow in Grace's footsteps. But I brainstormed some of the other options. Today, I'll look into where she might have ended up. First, the local hospitals. It's a long shot, but if Grace was hurt or found without ID, she'd still be admitted to an ER or something. There's only four in the area. It shouldn't take all, it shouldn't take all day. Next, the cops. Sure, they told Mrs. Woon that she was out of luck, but maybe they can do something about the skis ball, Jed Powers. Uh, at least I can bother my contact there. Detective Harris will talk to me. And hey, maybe there's something I missed from yesterday. It's a lot of ground to cover in one day, but I'm pretty sure I can investigate all these places. I might not always have enough time, though. Better keep an eye on it. Cops always say that missing persons cases are on a timer. I might have to be more selective in the future. Where should I go first? Um, well, I do need to go to the club. But I also just want to, like, uh, quit the game. Okay, your progress will be saved. Okay, good. So, let's head back. Alright. Well, that's it. That's the first episode of, of Ghosts of Miami. I'm, I'm digging it. There's some words that I don't know how to pronounce, but I'm, I'm getting through it. But uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again next time.